what you want to Please don't be polite In our mini-verse, we can never have enough shopping bags Especially when it's Black Friday So we are going to make miniature shopping bags Inspired by some of our favorite designers and stores This craft is pretty simple so you can make it fast Just in time to go shopping Plus, after all that traveling, I need a simple craft I made several printables on my computer that will be available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. I'll put the link in the description box below. This bag is inspired by Louis Vuitton. This pink and black one is inspired by Victoria's Secrets. This really pretty teal color is inspired by Tiffany. We made two different bags inspired by Nike. Just DIY it. This one is inspired by Nordstrom's, and here is Gucci. And last but not least, Bloomingdale's. All of these bags are the same size. However, if you want some that are smaller, then change the printer settings to print two per page. So we can add a little variety to our shopping bags. We are going to make our Bloomingdale's inspired bag first. On each printable, there are two bags, and options for handles. Start by cutting one out. Once the bag and the handles have been cut out, take the bag and fold over the top. You're gonna wanna crease that right on the line. Flip it over and repeat on the other end. Take a glue stick and apply glue right under the fold. Then fold it over and allow it to dry. Repeat on the other side. Now we need to fold on all the other remaining lines. So I fold over the side, trying to make sure I am folding on that line so everything stays nice and square. Turn it around, fold on the other side, open it up, then fold on one of the middle lines, making nice, sharp, creases then go up a little bit and fold on the other middle line make small cuts on those middle lines stopping right before the next crease so that we make little tiny tabs we are going to need that to help assemble our bag then repeat on the other side then we can set that down and work on our handles take one of the handles and fold it over about a third of the way. Fold over the other side so all of the white paper is locked on the inside. Carefully open it up, apply a little glue all on the inside. You want really good coverage here. Then fold over the paper again so we see the same color on both sides. We could use this for the handle as is, but I want to go a step further. So I hold it at one end, then carefully bend the paper and just kind of turn it again and again while bending it. And you want to make sure you're careful enough to not rip the paper, but you do want to get it kind of thin. So we're just going to bend this. We'll do this in real time. You can see me do the whole process. All right, so we're still bending all the way down. And you're trying to keep this as tight as possible. It's okay if right now it's a little wonky. We'll fix that in a minute. But right now it's just important to get it to kind of look like a paper rope. And... I'm going to leave a little bit left over on the end so that we'll have a flat piece to glue down. Now there is our little wonky looking rope, but to clean it up, you just go in and twist it more. Twist, twist, twist. Don't twist too much because then you'll literally rip the paper, but we are just trying to get it to even out. There we go. You can even roll it between your fingers a little bit if it'll let you and if you're not rolling it in the wrong direction and undoing everything you just did because that's not fun all right there we go yay that'll work 
Take the other piece of paper for the handle and repeat. To make two, bend them and glue it right onto the folded over top of the bag. I just used a glue stick and now I'm gonna hold it adding a little pressure until it dries. Repeat for the other side to attach the handles. Take the bottom tab, fold it up, take one of the side tabs, add glue to the smaller tab, then take the side tab, line up the edges as best you can, and glue them together. Repeat on the other side. Then the last two tabs, we're gonna cover those completely with glue, nice even layer, and then fold that up and glue it onto the side, matching up all of the edges. Repeat for the other side to make a miniature shopping bag inspired by Bloomingdale's. And since each printable comes with two bags, we can make more. For our Nordstrom's bag, we made it exactly the same way with the twisted handles. And we could do that for our Gucci bag, but I wanna use ribbon for the handles. After gluing down the top and folding the bag, measure ribbon to the length of the printable handles, trim off the excess, make two. Using a hot glue gun, I add a small amount of glue, then attach one end of the ribbon, then determine how long you want the handles. I'm gonna make mine right about there. Glue it down on the other side, trim off the excess, glue on the other handle, then assemble the bag just as before. Ooh, let's add a thinner ribbon, gluing it right between the handles. We need one on each side so we can tie them together to make a little bow. Completing our Gucci inspired bag. Let's use black ribbon for our Froggy Secrets bag as well. I've cut out two full size bags and two smaller bags that we printed by printing two printables per page. After folding all of the sides, use a hole punch to make a small hole at the top of the bag, cut the ends of the ribbon at an angle, Feed the ribbon through the holes, tie knots on the other side, or use glue to secure the ends. Glue the rest of the bag together, cut small rectangles of tissue paper, place them inside the bags to finish the look. Our Nike-inspired bags have elastic cord for handles. On the back of the bag, it says, just DIY it. Love it! For our Tiffany-inspired bags, I used the same elastic cording for the handles, and I found a tissue paper that is the same color as the bag to go inside to make that classic Tiffany's look. For our Louis Vuitton-inspired bag, I glue a blue satin ribbon onto the inside, then assemble the bag to complete our miniature shopping bags. Wow, it looks like someone went a little crazy on Black Friday. It looks like we went on a miniature shopping spree. And these bags aren't just for show. They are the perfect sized gift bag for small items like earrings, necklaces, and rings. How cool would it be to give your bestie some earrings in a Tiffany-inspired bag? Or you can always go for a classic and fill them with money. We can even use them as ornaments to decorate a tree. However you choose to use these mini bags, we hope you have fun crafting this holiday season. Thank you for joining us while we made miniature shopping bags inspired by some of our favorite designers and stores. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!